If the sun were to suddenly vanish, how would Earth change? At the exact moment of disappearance, there is no immediate difference on Earth. Wall Street is buzzing, traffic is flowing, and life continues as usual. Eight minutes and 20 seconds later, the final ray of sunlight hits the Earth. Suddenly, the sky turns pitch black. It is not just night, it is an absolute suffocating darkness that envelops the entire globe instantly. 10 minutes later, the moon vanishes. Without sunlight to reflect, our celestial neighbor becomes a ghost, invisible to the naked eye. 30 minutes later, Earth's magnetic field shifts. If you look up, you might see spectacular, eerie auroras dancing across the darkness, a haunting light show caused by the last solar particles. One hour later, temperatures begin to plummet. Panic sets in. Social media explodes with confusion before the internet flickers and dies. The power grid strains under the load. 24 hours later, the dawn never comes. The president declares a global state of emergency. The New York Stock Exchange is suspended indefinitely. Looting begins in major cities as people raid supermarkets for canned food. Scientists at NASA scramble for answers, but the truth is terrifying. The sun is simply gone. One week later, photosynthesis stops. The global power grid collapses. Temperatures drop to 14 degrees F. The preppers were right. People retreat into bunkers or head toward geothermal zones like Yellowstone for warmth. The wealthy board submarines to escape the surface freeze. One month later, there is no miracle. Temperatures hit minus four degrees Fahrenheit. Oceans freeze over, trapping marine life under ice. Most wildlife perishes. The world is ending. Six months later, surface temperatures hit minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Earth is a frozen wasteland. 99% of life is extinct. One year later, it is minus 148 degrees Fahrenheit. The oceans are solid ice at the surface, but deep volcanic vents keep lower depths liquid. This is the last refuge of life, microbes and humanity's remnants living in darkness. 10 years later, the surface is a steady minus 328 degrees Fahrenheit. The atmosphere collapses. The air itself turns into snow. Earth is a dead, frozen rock. 100 years later, the ozone layer vanishes, allowing deadly cosmic radiation to bombard the surface. The ruins of New York and London lie buried under miles of frozen nitrogen. Drifting through the void without gravity, Earth is a rogue planet, wandering the galaxy alone. We don't know the final chapter. We only know one thing. The American dream and the age of humanity is over.